and welcome back to the Smellithosaurus channel. I have um, been wanting to do this for a little while, this video, but I, I, I don't know, it's been very focused on wax melts lately, um, but it is, that is not the only product that we do over here. Um, there is something else, which is Dreamy Saurus, and I don't know if you guys have seen previous um, videos about this or if perhaps you've seen it on the website or if you've bought one you might have one in your home I know a few of you do um so yeah I make dream catchers as well now dream catchers like going way 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 back um to when I first started crafting so like after I had um my second little boy yeah after Rex um I started making dream catchers because I just I find them really therapeutic like the wax melt making is incredibly soothing with all the glitter and the Mika and all of that jazz but the dream catcher is a bit magical I find it really really cool um so what I wanted to do today was just explain about them uh give you a little bit of their history and then show you some because I'm hoping this week to have a little collection a very small collection launch um on Friday um basically I launched them a few months ago they just flew out within an hour. I was so happy. I was, you know, all that hard work you put in, especially when these little things are just so dear to me. Um, so when you end up managing to actually, you know, sell out on a launch, it's very exciting. Um, and then I've had a couple just kind of sit on the website for a little while. So I wanted to jazz it up because I think they were missing some colours, which I think you guys really enjoyed, like the rainbow ones and stuff. Um, and I've got a couple of different sizes now, so I would like to show you. So let me just grab them. Here is the first size. So this was the original size. This is uh, roughly 20 to like 25-ish centimetres round. Um, and these are Dreamy Saurus. So there's a few different parts to dream catchers that are very, very important. Um, and I I think their history is very fascinating. Um, this is not a new product. I have not made something new. This has been, this is these have existed a very long time. They go right back through history. Lots of different cultures use them and they have lots of different meanings for lots of different people. Um, to me, they kind of hold a space for self-care because they're, they're very, they promote very positive feelings. And I think sometimes when you feel and you think that something is helping you but often does um and to me this just represents that feeling so this is um one of the dream catches that i make one of many a pom-pom version um and yeah as i said there's a few different bits on here that are really important so for the first thing is the hoop the hoop um in most cultures represents like the circle of life um rebirth and death and living and it's very very much you know very 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 symbolic um and then you have got the the web itself i'll do the web first the web itself which catches all of the bad dreams um the the theory is that the night's air is full of good and bad dreams um and basically all of the dreams pass through the the web but only the good ones can get down to these tassels um the rest get stuck in here and then upon the first touch of daylight in your room or on on here they just disperse and disappear. Uh, so the tassels are important because this is what the dreams travel down. They travel all the way down the tassels. Um, but the feather is very, very important because the good dream will go into your brain and into your sleeping mind from, from the feather. So there's a little peacock feather on all of them. Um, I also with these they are entwined with crystals because it's very much keeping in with well-being and all the things that Smelly Saurus promotes and as you probably know if you've watched these a few times I'm really intrigued by crystals I love that you can interpret them how you want to I love that they're they really you can pull out the meaning that is relevant for you there is no right way or wrong way to use them um, and again it's just having a little bit of sunshine in your pocket it just feels good um so yeah, just to keep in with those, I've popped the crystals on there. And then, can you see in the middle? There is a dinosaur, of course there is a dinosaur. Uh, so you've got um, Brachiosaurus, or we've also got T-Rex because they're cool. Uh, so they do vary in design. Um, and then last but not least is my beautiful wooden little laser cut label. Can you see? And it's got the smelly saurus on. These are from the British stamp maker. She is incredible. Very, very talented at stamps and very talented at laser cutting. Um, and she 
there was something missing when I made these. There was one thing I just thought there's something, it needs something else. Um, and then when I found that she did these, I was like, that's it, that is that is what's missing. And genuinely, I think it made the whole product. So it's very exciting. Um, so yeah, as I said, these are, these are really dear to me because I just, I love a dream catcher. I think they're so magical. Um, what is nice about them is that there's never two that I've made that are the same. They are always different because I, they're always handmade. They're, they're not mass produced. They are really individual. So if you buy one, you can be sure, even if someone's got a similar colour, they will never be the same. They don't turn out the same every time. So how to use these? So you hang them in your bedroom, ideally not against the wall. You want it free flowing because you want the dreams to be able to travel through. Um, and yeah, and then hopefully just get a really good, decent sleep. Um, I have a couple hanging up in my shed just because I think they're just good to have. They just feel good to have around. Um, so yes, this is the one size. So these are between 22 and 25 pounds. I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping to have a few more colours available on Friday, if all goes to plan, but you know, I have to do so it never does um this is also another one that is 20 uh 25 this one um so yeah they're all very unique because they're all they all follow the pattern of the wall so if the wall changes slightly it will change too so that is another reason um i love the pom-poms on these i think they're just so cool and it's got its feather and it's a little badge but this one is slightly different as the charm the, the um sorry the rose court the gem is in the middle um, and it hangs down with its dino. So yes, um, I might keep that in my hand to show you. So I also have another size. The other size is a very, very small one. So they're very tiny. Um, these are really hard to make. They're so intricate um, and they're really fiddly, but they're really, when you get it right, it's really exciting. So these are tiny ones. These are 12.50 um, and they've got all the bits on. They're just very miniature and the web is just super tiny. Um, so yeah, the size difference is, is quite drastic. Um, but yes, there's little ones available. These are new. I haven't done any of these yet. I've done a couple of custom, but I haven't actually put any on the website. And I'm hoping to have quite a few different colours. And I'm hoping to partner them up, partner them up with some wax melts as well. Maybe do like a little well-being dream catcher sleepy box. Um, so let me know if you think that's a good idea, because I would love to. Okay, and then going from like the really tiny, we have this fella. And he is really, really big. <laughs> I um have only ever done one other of these and it was it was bright hot pink and it was like that really fluffy teddy bear wool and it had turquoise in it and my friend who has a wax milk company too she said that she saw it and was like that's mine because it's my brand colors so I thought oh, I didn't even mean to do that but that's so nice and she was so excited to receive it and I know that's in her um headquarters as well in her office so yeah the size difference is quite big these are 35 depending on the wool um just depending on what type of wool if it's a, a really fluffy expensive wool it might be a bit more but it just kind of goes the prices just vary with what i've used um so yeah we've got those two i can hold it all and then show you the babies oh where's the babies yeah so these are like the three <laughs> sizes that we do so far um i have had a little experiment with some clouds because when it was mental health awareness week i loved the idea of you know um the rain symbolizing getting rid of a lot of feelings and like when the cloud passes you feel a bit better so i did have a little go with these which i am going to pop, pop up on the site as well so it's a little cloud it's not quite a dream catcher it's got no web in it um, but it does just symbolise exactly the same holding space and it's got the amethyst on and the little dinosaur. Um, so I might pop these up, but they were just, I just think these are really fun to make. They make me very happy. So I often try and keep them, <laughs> keep them around and keep my hands busy because I think my hands are connected to my brain quite often. And if my hands are busy, my brain is not thinking about mush. So that's really good. Um, every every time an order goes out with a dream catcher in you get your own little card and on the back it's got exactly what it means and how to use it um and i think that's really important because sometimes you just buy something and you're like all oh, right okay i don't know what to do with this but this this kind of tells you how to use it where to put it um and it gives you a little bit of history so yeah yeah i think they're quite magical they make me happy so um 
that was it really i just wanted to show you so i will probably pop up a little video over the week of i might i might actually do a making video i thought i might do a little time lapse um and i have got an idea in the back of my mind of making some diy dreamy saurus kits so that you can make them yourself because I would love to share, I love to share my products with you, but I'd love to share making them with you too. Um, and perhaps there could be a little hashtag. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm doing my very best to think, because I think it would be really nice to receive a little box where you can make your own. And also just, you know, just get the benefits of crafting for your mind. Um, I think we should all find a craft, to be honest. I think you don't have to sell it, you don't have to make it do a business, but you need to find a craft because it's good for your brain. Um, so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be promoting this week. So I just wanted to share it with you. But um, yes, if you got this far, thank you very much for listening. And I will be back in the week with a little how to do it video. So have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.